Well, thank you for watching this video. This video is brought to you by newcrickbooks.com. Newcrickbooks.com, that's our website for uh, desktop. So here's our website. This is for desktop. And uh, you can go to job costing. This, is the, this video is for job costing. We have done a series of uh, videos uh, related to job costing. So you want to check it out. Uh, so it's a complete uh, uh, videos on job costing, so step by step guide to complete QuickBooks job costing video tutorials. And uh, if you need to purchase uh, desktop, uh, we have external link that goes to uh, into QuickBooks, and you can also buy from uh, uh, Amazon. And also have a uh, uh, new QBO.com. This is a separate blog. And this is for QuickBooks Online, only QuickBooks Online. And uh, uh, we have all kinds of video tutorials and educational blog. So I'm going to check it out. This blog is very, very popular, very, very popular. So to, it's worth checking it out. Okay, so I'm going to go to uh, uh, this uh, this video. I'm basically, I'm going to focus on entering time in QuickBooks. And you have a time sheet, a weekly time sheet and a single activity uh, entering uh, time. Okay, so I'm gonna go to QuickBooks uh, online, QuickBooks desktop in here. Uh, I'm gonna go to uh, home page first. Okay, so this is home page. And uh, if you see pay employees on your home page, that means you have QuickBooks, uh, QuickBooks payroll subscription. And if you don't have that, that means you don't have a payroll subscription. And uh, you can still uh, enter time and uh, bill to your customer just by going in here, entering time in here. So you use weekly time sheet, uh, but then there's no uh, payroll uh, posting to QuickBooks. Okay, so I'm just using this uh, uh, manual payroll in here just for this video. It's not a subscription uh, payroll. So if you are using outside uh, outside uh, payroll service and you still want to do job costing we have a separate video for that one see use outside payroll service this video will show how to allocate payroll to jobs in quickbooks okay so i'm going to go to uh, time sheet now so time sheet you can go from your home page weekly time sheet and single activity okay or from employees menu into time use use weekly time sheet i'm going to use this one here okay so here's your time sheet it looks like this and all you have to do is select uh, uh employee all right and uh okay the customer job it comes from uh, your customer center so when you go to customers menu and customer center you you'll uh, create a new customer and underneath, if you want to create a job, just add job. So in this uh, example, I have customer A, um, and then underneath you have a job. I have another B, customer B, and underneath you have a uh, job. Okay. And now uh, I'm going to go to. I'm going to close this. All right, the service item. This is the one. It comes from your item list. So this is the one you use for. Uh, uh, for invoicing your customer and also uh, you know item lists is for for both uh, products and services so if you're selling products you will have your item uh, list and in this case is service one service type for, for labor and then the payroll item this is for the payroll uh, purpose so you'll see a separate uh, list see the payroll item list if you have a payroll subscription, you will see this. And this is the one that will uh, uh, post to your uh, payroll. And then if you are using uh, payroll with uh, uh, workers comp, you will, you, then you will see WC item in here for workers comp. And uh, then uh, uh, in this case, the first work week is Monday. And if you want to change it, you can change it to also how to do that. And the last one is billable. Uh, it's a uh, box is checked. That means billable box is it's, it's default right now. And if you don't want, if you don't bill uh, your customer, then you can uncheck that box 
or go back to default or set preferences and uh, change it okay so uh, uh, now I'm going to show you uh, the preference settings in here so the edit preferences and you go to time and expenses in here time and expenses and the company preferences it'll tell you do you want to track time yes so that's how we got the time sheet in here uh, and the first day of the week is Monday so if it's uh, uh, Sunday you can change it here see Monday in here see it's Monday and if you want to change Sunday you can you know whatever you, your uh, first day of work week and mark uh, uh, mark billable items in here see this is why you are seeing uh, the billable box and if you uncheck it if you you know if you don't want it then you'll just uncheck it here and then go from there and if you're doing batch invoicing for labor time and expenses you can go to check this one so when we check this box basically you will see uh, this is for batch invoice for time and expenses so you can do the batch invoice in here see like this okay so I'm just gonna start with this one uh, this company you got an employees name and if, if you have a vendor uh, set up for like a or your consultant or 1099 independent contractors uh, you know you can use vendor one too for time sheet okay so I'm just gonna use uh, job costing here and service item consulting payroll uh, it's labor and if you want to fill out no that's fine okay so it's eight hours let's say eight hours okay so it's 40 hours and let's say you want to save this, save and new, or save and close. Okay. Uh, so that's done. So you have 40 hours. And let's say you also have a one-time uh, job for the same customer, let's say, same employee. And let's say it's the same job and just one time. All right. Okay. And let's say that this date is uh, Saturday. Okay. All right. So you know, normally you, you, you the time clock will start. You know you can like this, uh, or uh, or you can just change it here. Let's say you just want to bill for five hours. All right. Okay. And make sure that this is the billable is uh, checked. Okay. So now we have forty hours from uh, uh, time sheet, and then. Uh, one time activity you have five hours 45 hours right so you just go to billing in here invoicing customer invoice and then you select your customer and it'll give you a billable time uh, prompt in here just select outstanding billable time and then save this all right so now you can select all Right here, see 40 hours plus five. Okay, and uh, so believable time is $2,700. There we go. Okay, and now you get this, you get the $60 in here, right? It comes from your item list. See, item list in here, consulting, it's already defined in here $60 is the labor rate billing your invoice to your customer okay so let's say this is this is pretty good and you're ready to go just save and close or save and new all right there's the invoice there's the email set up in here email later I don't want that one for this example all right save okay so the invoice part is done now let's say you're gonna pay this employee just go to employees and pay it as you can see, see here is forty-five dollars, forty-five hours is already there. Normally, when you run payroll, you have a bunch of employees. In this example, this one employee, and uh, this is gonna write manual check. Let's say manual check. Okay, and uh, uh, I just want to show you how it will post this payroll cost to your, uh, your QuickBooks. Okay, so continue it. All right, so let's just say create check. It's done okay so now if you go to your PL and you press it as you can see here revenue 
this comes from your uh, Amazon accrual. So if you check the cash, then you won't see the income in here. So I'm accrual just invoiced it. You know, it's still outstanding invoice. Okay, so it's twenty seven hundred dollars income and eleven twenty five is your uh, labor cost from your payroll, and the income is right here. The difference between twenty seven hundred and eleven twenty five is this. So this is the profit and loss. All right, this is, this is just a, it's an example. And you can run all kinds of bunch of uh, job cost in here. See, job profitability summary. You got all these reports in here, right? And employees uh, report in here. So basically the video is to show how to do uh, uh, inter time using weekly time sheet and time into a single activity. Okay, as simple as that, right? See, see in, in a few minutes I've created uh, PNL, you know, let's just look at the uh, job cost report in here. See, you get like this, exactly the same. See, this should match. See, 2700 dollars is your income, 1125 is your cost. So if you do everything correctly, uh, uh, the, the PNL, uh, and this is for the one one uh, one customer only, but of course it should track the same way. You know? You could do in job cost uh, this way. You can do the uh, the other one. You can run PNL. So this is job profitability summary. This is for the job. And let's do another report in here. So this is the one profit and loss by job. See right here, same number. Right. Okay. And it's going to close uh, all these reports. And we're gonna compare side by side in here. This one in here, 1575, this is your company's PL. And I'm just gonna run one report in here. Uh, profit and loss by job. Okay. As you can see here, so on the right side is your PL. This is the total, grand total of your PL, and this is by job. So you keep adding all your jobs, and you will see it right here. See, fifteen seventy-five is your uh, uh, income. This is from your job, and this is from your uh, uh, PNL, the company PNL. How about that? Okay. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe to our uh, channels. We have two channels: YouTube.com forward slash BP Controller youtube.com for us as QuickBooks QBO, QuickBooks QBO and VP Control. Thank you again. Bye.